Now, we reported last night of a defection to South Korea by a senior North Korean diplomat who had been based in London. That's sending shockwaves across the world as such a case is not only rare, but also a huge embarrassment for the Kim Jong-un leadership. And it's prompting questions about the state of the North Korean regime. What can we read into the latest string of defections by the North Korean elite? Our correspondent in charge of North Korean affairs, Connie Kim, examines the situation. The unexpected defection of North Korea's deputy ambassador to the UK, Tae Yong Ho, set a landmark case reflecting Pyongyang's internal instability. Although details of Tae's defection has not been released, a Seoul's Unification Ministry official told reporters on Thursday that North Koreans in general are choosing to defect for more diverse reasons besides economic and political circumstances. In fact, Ted deserted his post partly due to his son's future education. The UK-based Guardian reported that one of Ted's sons was expected to enroll in Imperial College London this fall. Considering that Tae worked in London for almost 10 years, he may have been more familiar to Western culture than to the North Korean political system itself. Considering many factors, Tae's children's education may have given him a decisive reason to defect. With the chances of seeing more defections from North Koreans working abroad, the regime reportedly sent inspectors to monitor them closely. A source well acquainted with Pyongyang said Kim Jong-un ordered his team of inspectors to get rid of possible defection factors. North Korea experts have also mentioned the possibility of re-education among members of the North Korean elite to ensure loyalty to the regime. There's a high possibility that North Korea could engage in ideological censorship among the second and third generations of revolutionary leaders and the upper class, as well as check on the loyalty to Kim Jong-un among diplomats and officials working abroad. While the high-ranking North Korean official's defection to South Korea serves as a significant case reflecting instability of Kim Jong-un's grip on power, the general consensus is that Tez's defection would not lead to a collapse of the regime, with some suggesting defections may be partly due to the strong international sanctions on the regime. Connie Kim, Arirang News.